Hello guys and welcome to my channel Crafty Ella. My name is Gabby and I'm so happy that you're here. Today I will be showing you guys how I go about um, piecing, making my paper piecings. Um, and this is a video for Kadoodle Bug Designs since I'm on their design team. So today I'm putting together the unicorn from Clovers and Unicorns um, which you, you can find the link down below. Um, and I always use the art glitter glue for my paper piecings and I always like to color the um, shade in the edges because I feel like it gives it just more life um, and dimension to all the paper piecings. So I just go around the edges of every single paper piece. Sometimes I use distress inks, for example, if I don't have a color that matches. And most of the time I use the color box um, chalk, chalk inks and those are my favorite because they blend so well on the edges and I'm using my um, blending tool right here. So right here I'm getting ready to assemble my, um, my unicorn. And here is where I'm using the color box inks. I like them because I can remove one ink and use um, the ink pad as an applicator. Um, so I always use, you know, a color that's darker than my pa my piece that I'm trying to color. And sometimes these inks color a little saturated um, when they're fresh. So I just like to go over the ink with um, a blending tool just so that it's not such a harsh um, shading line. And that's all I do. It's pretty easy. So for some of the pieces I like to give them a different look, some dimension with embossing folders. For example right here I'm trying to make my unicorn's hair wavy so I'm using this wavy um, pattern embossing folder and I'm gonna round that through my big shot so here is where I start um, assembling I usually have a picture of um, the finished project um, the image on my computer so I can look uh, where is the bottom layer where it is what goes um, in the bottom so I always like to work from the bottom up because um, with our Kadoodle Bug designs um, paper piecings you get uh, a base which is really helpful you know to align your pieces of paper So right now I just start gluing everything down um, layer by layer from the bottom up and um, that's it. I mean it's pretty easy. You just um, sometimes you have to layer everything before you glue it down just so that you make sure that everything is lined up correctly and you got the order of, um, of gluing down correctly. and. Right here, I'm adding some dimension to this clover with, um, since I don't really like to spend my money on foam dots, I just use regular craft foam, which I have tons of because I do craft foam crafts also. So I just use my scraps and um, it gives it the same look, a beautiful raised look. And, um, and I have different colors, but I just chose to use pink because you're not going to see it anyways. And so I glue that down and then I will glue it onto my paper piecing. And 
sorry for being out of frame here guys I'm just um, gluing down the lid and just re-inking some pieces that I forgot so that's all I'm doing right now I have this um, glue eraser from Zyron and it just helps me move like um, if I get a little glue on my piece that I don't want to show it just helps remove all that sticky residue I just love that piece and so here I go layering and layering So as you can see I'm almost done and um, it really does not take long at all. I would say I take around half an hour per paper piecing. Um, first I ink everything at once and then I paper piece everything. Um, I feel like it takes longer if you ink and then glue, ink and glue. So that's why I recommend doing one step at a time, ink all of the pieces, and then glue everything down. It's just so fun. So right now, um, I will be adding all the details. For example, I use this um, ink blender and shade in around the eyes. I like to use like a dark brown color to give the eyes a little more dimension. And... Um, that's it for the eyes and then I go on with a fine pen I this is a precision pen from Becky Higgins project life and I just draw some eyelashes next I will be adding her mouth So this is what it looks all paper pieced and I will just be adding some details. So for the eyes I always like to add a reflection in her eyes with a white jelly roll pen. It's my favorite. So I just do a big dot, a medium dot and a small dot. 
for the cheeks I add some um, blush with a pink uh, chalk ink and then just a little dot for her cheeks just to add some light and then I go over the edge of some parts um, I usually like to do that so that it looks like there's light coming onto my paper piecing So I add also, I usually like to use my Wink of Stella pen to add just some shimmer in some parts. In this case, I'm adding it to the small clovers and it just gives it a little bit of gorgeous shimmer. So that's basically it on how I put together my paper piecings. And this is a picture of the final project. I just love this pile. She is so adorable. And um, here is a picture of the layout that it went on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and get to try out our um, some paper piecings. We have some beautiful ones over at Kadoodle Bug Designs. So I will link um, the shop down below and the Facebook page for some special offers. So stay tuned for the next video, you guys. Um, thank you for watching and. Make sure you give me a like or a comment. Bye!